Are you tired of coming home from the zombie apocalypse covered in fecal material and intestines? Do you want to melt both dirt, grime, and your sperm count down to nothing? Then you're going to need the brand new Saunanator 5000. The Saunanator 5000 comes in a variety of models and is quick and easy to install. I'll be your assistant, Jimmy Jackwagon, as we go through the 300 different steps that you'll need to put this glorious beast into the hellhole of a bathroom that you call an apocalypse shelter. Step number one, take out your handy Star Trek phaser removal gun and remove everything. That's right, there's no need to use tools or, you know, bolts or, or, or screwdrivers or pretty much anything. We're men, we're just, we just use the beamy thing and stuff goes away magically. Next step, remove all the piping. Don't ask how it happens, it's, it's freaking magic, okay? This is, we're, we're not talking about normal style stuff anymore. This is like Finlandish sauna stuff now, baby. Toilet hole, don't need it. Next step, put down some wood. The longer, harder, and girthier the wood, the better. More wood, even more wood. We're gonna be putting lumberjacks through college, baby. Sauna bucket with ladle. Maybe add yourself a nice custom painting. There we go. That's relaxing. Next, let's throw down some delicious sausage, some beer. Oh, that looks delicious. And already it's starting to feel like my summer car has come to life, but we can go further. Be a man and rip that door out with your bare hands and replace with a lovely glass sauna door. That's hot. Add a little timer so you know exactly how long your organs have been baking. Put down a freaking sweet looking sauna heater. It almost looks like a, like a globe or something. And then finally, throw down a sweet looking sauna light. If you want, you could put down a few murderous bunnies with some kitchen knives on them. Oh yeah, right there. That looks like something that might be skinning some teenagers. And there you go. You now have a 100% clearly authentic Finished sauna made just for you. Follow these simple instructions, and I personally guarantee that your genitalia will not get caught in a toaster, electrical outlet, or in the chain of a chainsaw. If it happens, I don't know. Sue that guy. Hello, but it's to please. We're back with more of the only simulative experience where you too get to bring the finished lifestyle into your home. It's House Flipper. So holy crap. There was a brand new update in House Flipper, and it is massive. Obviously, you can see my 100% authentic finish rendition of a sauna over here. I even got the beer and sausages for you guys because I know you guys love the Kataya or whatever it is over here. I think that's supposed to be the Kavala cousin from My Summer Car. I assume that's what it is. That's a, that's a lovely caramel colored brew over there. Besides the sauna though, there's like a million new things. Like there's a ton of stuff that's been hidden over here. If you go to like go to all and you just kind of like scroll through all the crap, there's like a bunch of new colors for the paint. We finally got trash bins. Oh my God. How long has it been? I've been using the clothing things for trash bins forever. Everyone was always wondering when I was going to make the next, uh, the next house flipper. And I said this one was going to be cool because now not only is there a ton, look at how much new stuff there is. There's all this new stuff over here, but on top of all this, you can legitimately make your own bathroom. So you can move piping around, you can install piping, and now there's a brand new sauna that you can add to the house. And there's a brand new job too. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the new job out, and then we're gonna be able to take the other mansion apocalypse shelter, and we're gonna be able to make it our own. Because before, you couldn't ever move where the bathroom was. And it was like a giant pain in the ass, because wherever it was, wherever the game decided it was, it was stuck there. But now things have changed. So let's hop over here into the uh, Windows 95. Go over into the mail. Uh, no, not you, Eric Camel. Ah, Lucas Utney, I think. I don't know. It says sauna and property development. And he says, good day. Sadly, I can't speak English too well. And I'm so sorry for it. I bought raw big house some time ago and everything here is to do. The most important problem is sauna leak. What's really scary is that although he says he can't speak English, his grammar is like, like pretty good. Like he's putting, he's putting periods down and capitalizing and everything like that. That's more than can be said for a lot of individuals. The most important problem is sauna leak. Saunas are very popular in my country and I want one here. Can you do sauna in my house? I can, we can do sauna in any house. Except wood sauna on sauna walls. I want white and gray walls. Furniture should be Scandinavian style. There's something white, blue, gray. I, that's a good color. I want kitchen. Two bedrooms, saloon, and two bathrooms. Also, trash box in every room. Thank you very much, Lucas Uterus. Finally getting to use the trash boxes. Trash boxes everywhere. I, that's totally fine for me. Let's accept this 
and see what kind of fat stacks we can make. Our good buddy over here, uh, Dolan Trump or whatever his name is, looking at us slightly askew, telling us that he only wants one bedroom because he doesn't have time for families, lady friends, or pretty much anything else. That also looks pretty good. Were there always cars on the side of the road? I'm trying to remember now because it's been a little while of what looks different, like just what looks different in general. I feel like this neighborhood's a little bit different. The neighborhoods are always pretty slick, but this one feels a little bit different. There is a garage over here. What do you have inside of your garage? Probably not the best thing for me, the uh, the employee, I guess, of this guy to be just snooping around in places where I'm really not wanted, but whatever, I kind of do what I want anyway. Uh, paint, oh, I actually do have to be in here. We have to paint this crap, all right. Let's go check out the sauna first. Oh, this guy is raw. That's what he meant by raw house. There is nothing here. There's no freaking carpet. There's no lighting. This looks like, uh, oh, he's got a freaking sweet fireplace. So look at that. There's even burning embers in there already. I'm kind of surprised this place hasn't killed anyone yet. Oh, wow. This is, this is like a full house makeover, like from nothing. We've never had one of these before. Usually it's just like, you know, remove baby table or add a bed or something like that. But you can see we're going to be ripping down walls. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. What's all the way over here? What does he want up in here? Modify walls, mount devices. All right, bring out the friggin' sledgehammer. It's time to teach these walls who Thor is. It's us. Ugh. Yeah. So how's the how's the beady physics? Is any different? Can I can I make the walls of Jericho happen over here? How about if I? Just oh. I didn't think it was more like a gazelle. I'm pretty impressed that we managed to get completely through it. I, the little bottoms over here are just kind of sticking around, not really doing too much. So like, can, we, can we hit the rest of this out here? I want all this crap out. You have to leave. It's cool because we're, we're putting together, it's true. We're putting together a house from the bottom up and it looks like there is a ton of tasks here. I mean, maybe it's just, maybe it just looks like a lot of tasks, but it seems like a lot of freaking tasks. How come he only wants me to rip half of the wall out? This is weird. He wants like a little half wall here or something? I'm gonna have to figure out exactly what the hell this dude wants. I guess let's start modifying as we do. Mount devices. Uh, all right. Oh, this is the towel radiator. Holy crap. Okay, this has changed quite a bit. Because yeah, before you used to just kind of like stick this wherever you wanted. But now it's, there's, there is legitimate pipes that go into the walls. Don't buy me, y'all. Just throw it down washers wherever we want. We go ahead and, uh, now what you want to do is you want to grab your Scrooby-Doo's right over here and you want to pull them out nice and slow. You don't want to screw too quickly, all right? You'll end up pulling something, especially as you get older in life. Next thing you know, you're screwing so hard, you throw out your freaking shoulder. Trust me, I know all about it. I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up. And now once it turns, you're gonna put your flap do back down, throw the, uh, throw the chunklets back in like this right here. You're gonna wanna go left to right. Then you're gonna grab this. You're gonna, what you're gonna do is, there it is. You're gonna grab your hose, just kind of flail it around, then lift it over here, twist this, pump it inside the hole. Once you've shoved it in about as far as it can go, you're gonna go ahead and, and do the secondary penetration. And there you go. Right after that, you've got a freshly mounted uh, a washing machine. Damn, this dude wants everything. What, was this a bathtub? I thought he wanted a sauna, and maybe he wants every, I mean, it is a pretty big house over here. I guess, I guess we could do a bathtub. I've never, uh, it's been a while since I put a bathtub in. Oh, a double bathroom sconce. All right, let's do the oval one, because I like the oval one more. I, I don't know why, I just do. Let's, uh, let's see, am I allowed to, yep, okay. Oh, it starts, it starts legitimately from nothing right now. Oh, I don't know where that came from. You know, it's kind of impressive that we're essentially doing this by ourselves. Like, there's really no one helping us to put this thing on. We're just kind of like, we lifted the entire bathtub. I hope, hopefully we bent our knees correctly because if not, I have a feeling we'd be getting some vertebrae fused. How's everyone doing? No one has, uh, no one has their wiener caught in a microwave or something, do they? I know that's very common on the internet. You know, at one point you're following instructions and pretty soon your dangleberry is, uh, you know, it's on high or whatever inside the microwave. Where, okay, I got it. We got our little nuts over here that we have to juggle. And uh, that slides right in there. Okay, sweet. So bathtub's in. Now, normally, you'd probably want to paint the walls first, but luckily, we're able to distort most of time and space in House Flipper to kind of like juggle things however we want. What the hell do you want? Oh, oh, you gotta shove it in first. Yeah, you gotta, before you yank it down, you gotta, you gotta thrust it in as far as it'll go. Okay, I know you gotta twist these little doohickeys right over here, then you gotta cap them on the top. Screw that in. Gotta come up from behind right over here. 
Put that down. There we go. You're going to want to thrust upward. And then slide that in. Twist to do. Put it on. And then you got your, your special trombone bars over here. Slide that in. And we're pretty much set. Good. Oh, we got a his and her sink. Okay. Well, now I have to buy the same sink. Because I can't. you can't have like two different sinks. I think that would appear kind of jacked up. Whew. Man, all the screwing is actually pretty tiring. Hope you guys remember the 200 steps that it takes to install a shower from the last time. Because I sure as hell don't. I'm <laughs> just kind of making it up as I go along here. Cappy thing. Where's the other cappy thing? Cappy thing. Cappy thing. Top down. Bottom up. Do that right over there. A little uppercut. Some screws. All right. Wow. Oh, it opens now. You can't get inside of it, but you can open it. That's pretty legit. Like I said, the next thing I'd like to see is us legitimately being able to turn it on. Uh, that'd be cool. If like, you know, even if just a little water comes out or something like that, I'd like to see it. Now that they do have saunas in the game, I almost feel like they should add beers and sausages. It is kind of nice because we get to put the, uh, the custom uh, pictures up and stuff like that. But I feel like the beers and the sausages would be a, uh, a pretty legitimate item to have just kind of laying around because it, it, I don't know it, it kind of seems like them adding things to the game doesn't it doesn't take that much effort I'm not really I'm not I don't really know how much it takes to add all these different items because they every time they do an update they add a lot of items all right old Gray's learned a little bit about aesthetics since you've started playing this game so watch this over here we're gonna make this place look friggin legit speaking of uh, beer and sausages it reminds me of the very first time that I had a taste of beer, and thus brings us to story time with Gray. A lovely period where you get to hear about the dumb stuff that I did as a young man that you may or may not choose to replicate on your own decision making. Please don't, because uh, a lot of it usually ends up with someone getting hurt or someone doing something dumb. As a young man, I was going uh, fishing with my dad. I think I was like, oh my god, like 10 or 11 or something like that. And my dad and my uncle uh, were coming as well, and we were all going to go fishing, and so they had a cooler filled with beer. And then for me, it was just Coca-Cola. So I saw them drinking beer, and I was like, you know, I want to drink it too because they're men, and I want to be manly and stuff like that. And they're like, you're not going to like it. And I'm like, no, I can li I'm going to like it. It's going to be fine. And they're like, trust me, just, drink just keep drinking the Coke. You're not going to like the beer. So finally, my uncle, being the kind soul that he was, allowed me to have a swig of uh, his beer while my dad was like baiting hooks or something like that. He's like, all right, go ahead, give it a shot. And uh, let me tell you something right now. If you've never tried beer before, or if like, you know, you're like 10 years old or 11 years old and you try beer, it's like the most bitter kick in the nuts you could ever imagine. Like I tried it and you know, I'm trying to be as tough as possible because I know that if I wind all this time and then I don't drink it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look like a loser, but my uncle could see immediately that it, it must have looked like someone was choking me out because I was like, oh, 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 oh. and my uncle's like, yeah, it tastes like piss, doesn't it? And I was like, no, it's fine. And he was like, this is why I said, stick to Coca-Cola. That was my first encounter with an alcoholic beverage, and it was like the worst encounter you could ever have. I, I have a feeling that my uncle breaking down and giving me the opportunity to taste that beer when I was that young probably kept me from like being an alcoholic or something later on because I had no interest in beer for like the next 15 years. I didn't even want to touch it. Like I, I always went back to that taste and all my buddies were like, oh no, Gray, you need to try these different craft beers because they're completely different and they're right like later on in life I don't drink a lot but I, I would say I have like you know a few a few a month or something like that and one of my favorites is uh, stouts and porters I like stouts a little bit more you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments section if you what your favorite beer is if you've ever even drank one before and the first time you had one when you had one what did you think about it because I can't be the only person that felt like they had been lied to because every time now remember this is you know <laughs> consider the the different types of commercials that were on back then back then you know beer every it was it was cool and there was a ton of commercials about how manly and awesome you were when you drank it and everything like that i felt like i had been lied to because every commercial there's always like some dude with a cowboy hat 
with like 13 girls hanging off of him, drinking it, and like his thirst is immediately quenched. So it made it look like it was sweet ambrosia, and when I tried it, it kind of tasted more like turpentine. But yes, I also know the type of beer matters. It was Budweiser at the time, all right? It's not like my parents were connoisseurs or anything. But I have a, um, I have a, uh, authority from, uh, Australia who said that Budweiser wasn't bad. I wouldn't drink it really today. I, I don't think it's awful either, but it's definitely not the best. So the moral of the story is drinking isn't all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> Let me tell you. I'd rather just have a freaking Gatorade at something. I remember being out on the on the boat, and after that, uh, you know, after that happened, of course, my dad thought it was funny. So he was like, "You want us to pack some extra beers for you?" And I was like, "I'll just take the Coca Cola, thanks." I don't know why my dad sounded like he was an eleven year old boy. That's I think that's pretty much the voice that I do for for almost everyone that's not me. It happens whenever I do my mom's voice too, because my mom. Yeah, was super, super New Jersey accented. So she did legitimately kind of sound like Fran Drescher, but she had like this very powerful accent. So she did do the hot dogs and the and the, the coffee and all that real, real thoroughly. And she also dropped F-bombs all the time. It was awesome. Wah, 100%. Look at that. One story told. And one bathroom freshly tiled. I don't even know what this is. It, I, I like it's a bathroom. But it's weird because it's like a bathroom with like this weird half wall. I'm one to talk. We, in my bathroom, we actually have a little half wall like this too. But it's more like a quarter wall. Like imagine if from here down, there's the wall. We have this, but we don't have any of this right here. And then the bathtub is actually over here. And then there's no door here, but there is a door over here. So it's kind of weird because it is slightly reminiscent to my real life bathroom. Oh yeah, it wanted a crap ton of halogen lights. Although I will say the lighting is pretty good in here. I was I was kind of surprised, especially considering we're just walking on craptastic, like uh, like like the concrete that you get before the house is even fully together. It's just like the the slab that the rest of the house is put onto. What am I putting in here? We're gonna we're gonna put floor tiles, right? Yeah, ter ceramic tiles white. Now what you're gonna want to do is uh, you're gonna want to lay. A nice thick sheen of liquid white. Okay, right over here. You ready for this? Bam! Liquid white. And then right over here, lay down a couple more tiles, make it nice and smooth. Maybe put a few uh, trees out there and some puffy white clouds. Everyone gets their own fresh brewed prison mirror over here. Put one over there and one right over here. I don't know why, but I always it, it, they feel very like sterile. Like, they don't really look like the mirror that you would have in your house. Is this is this legitimate? Or No, it's not. It's so weird because it's giving a reflection off, but in the reflection, the toilet's there, but the door is open. That's really weird. It's... <laughs> I didn't notice this. I didn't know it went from a door to a door to a door. That looked really creepy. Like when I opened this over here for a second, it almost like right here. Look at it. It looks like doorception. Like it, like something's playing tricks on my eyes. And then I realized that I came this way to eventually get into this room, but it just looks strange. So once these chest of drawers over here, I think we can actually, yeah, we can fit one over here. And then we can fit, I went with the beach just because it's like a very light coloration in here all around. One right over here. There we go. That works out pretty good. Put a little shelving in here. If you flip and do around it like this, you can actually get, look at this. You can actually get like a little enclosed area. Maybe you put some candles up there or something like that while you're, uh, while you're doing the, the sweet succulent bathing time, marinating yourself as it was. And now a real life trash bin. Oh, how long I've waited. We want this Lauren trash bin over here. I don't know if this is like the high end trash bin or what. Where do we, do these work I wonder? I put it maybe right over here. Do they work or can you move them? No, you can't do anything. Totally done with this room. We've already racked up three grand. We're gonna be making big money. Oh, this is it. I think this is the sauna room. Oh, it looks good too. You got a big, this is a really fancy bath area. You got the big bathroom area into the sauna. Imagine if it was this easy. Like you're gonna put down tile, all you gotta do, click and drag. We don't really have the same space 
as the My Summer Car, uh, car Sauna area. Because, like, the heater in the original one would be, like, over here. But it's kind of, it's very narrow sauna space. The the one at the other house was much wider. Uh, and I don't want to block the, um, the door here. So I'm going to try and make this work as best as I can. All right, let's go with some dark colors this time. Oh, yeah. Oh, the dark colors look freaking great. Now, you got to flip it around so it fits. Like that right there. So where's, like, a good place for the sauna head lift? The only reason I ask, because, like, I looked some pictures up online. They kind of, like, had it just like this. So that's the best I could think. Can you turn this on or anything? Oh, man, you can't. This sauna sand timer looks pretty good. I, I like the way this one looks. Just throw it right over there for right now. There's one you can put on the wall as well. Oh, you know what? I think it wants us to use this one. Can you flip it upside down? Like, will the, will the sand actually move? Probably not. It's, yeah, I think it's static. Throw a couple of towels down like that over there. Damn, that looks good. Oh, yeah. Install panels. Package of panels. What kind of panels? You ready to see panels go on walls like a freaking ninja? Whoop wah! <laughs> I love how it's like we're just zapping it onto the wall. Look at this craziness. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so spa- You know, I've, I, went to, I went to ninja school for 30 years to learn how to put panels on walls in a very stealthy nature like this. We're taking down shoguns with uh, shuriken, and we're throwing- panels on walls like like freaking ogs over here also where was the leak at didn't it say that there was like a sauna leak or something isn't that like the whole reason that we came here i remember this guy said that the house was really raw but didn't he say something about like a sauna leak i feel like there was nothing here like there wasn't even part of a sauna we we built this entire room out of nothing it was four cement walls and a floor and a ceiling all right you boys ready for this how glorious that is that's some uh some good lighting effects over here usually it was just like a blanket lighting but now there's a little bit of shadowing and stuff in it i like it let's go ahead and open up our glass door over here now uh there is a new ecosystem or a system of eco-ness for a uh, house flipper so now when we go into a room it lights up and when we go out of a room it lights off see it's it's like ultimate power saving okay so seven of 20 tasks yeah this house is going to be a legitimate build. So we're going to be building it from the ground up. We've we've got the beginning started. We've got a pretty slick bathroom over here. Just the beginning of a bathroom. There's still a lot of stuff to put down here. And I really like our sauna. Oh, the sauna is looking great. Again, I don't know how to really stack the two levels. Because there's only so many sauna items right now. Oh, let me get rid of this. Just because this crap's in the way. There we go. There's only so many sauna items right now. But it's looking pretty legit. And like I said, there is a ton of new stuff for us to look at. I mean, everything from freaking more tables. There's probably some more plants. There's more pictures. There's more colors. There's more, um, there's the trash cans now. We've got the extra stuff for the kitchen, which is looking pretty legit. And you know what? I mean, now that we can have a sauna, we can probably turn a house into the My Summer Car House if we really wanted to. Uh, in fact, we could probably recreate it pretty good, considering all the different colors and stuff that we have. I don't know what you guys think that we should do next. Feel free to let me know in the comments section below. If you want to make the YouTube machine happy, go ahead and turn the old like button up to 100 degrees Celsius. Still next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.